look over there, they haven't been announced yet. As far as you're concerned, they don't even exist. Be speaking from the record. Stop looking over there. It's my turn. Look at me. Look at me. I'm from Hollywood. I'm an actor. I need your love. <laughs> Number 18, Steve and Deb Liptak as Ben Fair and Paige Turner. I believe that the category is steampunk. Next, we have a steampunk duo starting with that renowned world explorer, Mr. Ben Fair. When his airship comes into town, he visits his fiance, the town librarian, Miss Paige Turner. Show off to the judges too. They're great. These guys are giving you the cash. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Hey. Did you guys see the little the, the the flames in the back? Did you guys see that? The, it's powered by the uh, fire he's got going on inside. Pretty cool. I think that was made from one of those Amish um, fireplaces. <laughs> the Amish don't believe in technology, but they make this super modern fireplace for you. Thank you, Elizabeth. We worked hard on it. <laughs> Number 19, Tia Rose and Con Color as Belle and Beast from Beauty. Thank you. 
And you'll know as soon as you see her because it's Evelyn Tut as Queen Elizabeth the First. So she was around a long time before Shaggy and Scooby. Look at that amazing work. Queen Elizabeth the First costume designed and built by the model Evelyn. Includes corset, hoop skirt, pomander, oh, I'm sorry, commander, right? Close enough, you know what I mean. You're the professionals. No, well, there's a lot of work going into this, and I want to give you the appropriate credit. The solid perfume worn by ladies of the day. Got it. The trim beads, I almost said trim beards and jewels. That would be bad. The trim beads and jewels were all stitched by Evelyn. There are 17 yards of lace in the neck ruff, also made by hand. Do me a favor. You go find just another circle or two. Very nice. Let's hear it for the queen. Alrighty, here we go with number 22. Number 22 is Thomas Tyler. He's Sting Punk Waldo. I don't know where he is. Anyway, see, because you were leading to that. Is that him? Right there? Next to the airship? Behind the steam powered death ray? Or the inner man scientist monstrous creation? Wherever he goes, someone's always looking for him. Can you find him? Steampunk Wardo! Thank you, Thomas. Very nicely done. Number 20. I love how Thomas Tut is 22. <laughs> Let's hear it for alliteration. <laughs> I was gonna say it'd be cool if they do a steampunk William Shatner, but he's actually that old, so. <laughs> You've obviously never met him. I have, and I was a Trekkie up until that point. <laughs> Save me a lot of money. <laughs> I've been sneaking into Star Trek movies ever since 1986. I pay for 102 Dalmatians and then go see Generations. <laughs> Number 23, Daniel McClintock Sow Sowers? Sawyers? Sawyers. Oh, they missed a Y. I'm sorry, sir. As Celtic Sea Raider. <laughs> Celtic Sea Raider McClintock. Do me a favor, show off your costume, make sure you do a little turn before each table so they can fully appreciate what you're doing. Lovely. See? Style points on that one. Yeah, brother. Right on. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I'm loving it. Incidentally, when Kurtzman and Orsi were in that bar and they heard the joke, they were actually on their way to Universal Studios to sign the deal to write Ba 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 ba, I'm loving it. The musical. <laughs> True story. Number 24, Dare Cowden and Erica Bergman as Blue Fence Scout and Red Spy Team Fortress 2. <laughs> hey, all the way from Too Far is an undisclosed location of the two you've seen around. They've been doing lots of flash improv just for the enjoyment of you lovely congoers. Scout and Red Spy! Number 24, Dear and Erica, one more time! Okay, where's the, steer, where, where's the steampunk Terminator? That's what I want to see. Somebody going out like as a side. Come on, that'd be cool! And again, Arnold is that old. 25, Haley Enoch. This is one of my favorites. Black Blade Doctor. Oh no! Oh, the doctor's looking a bit pale. Good news! There's a doctor in the house. What is the diagnosis? Hmm? Well? Anybody? No, 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 no. It's not lupus. It's a bad case of the cosplay blues. 
judges over here suck up over here for a little while. <laughs> what is the cure? Anyone? Anyone? What can the cure be? Now, I like the costume, but I gotta admit, when I was looking backstage, I thought it was gonna be Spy vs. Spy. I was like so excited. It's like, yeah, I wanna see the white spy back there, but cool! But I love the costume anyway. Thank you, it was awesome, and I brought a character up on stage. Can I see that one more time? 25, Haley Enoch! Whoa! Low 26? Is there no 26? Is there no 26? Just double checking. I have no page for 26. I, I, can, I don't know your names, but I can tell them who you are, who your characters are. It got stuck to the other page. It just means somebody was backstage having a good time. This one I like, because you know what? I haven't taken pictures of any of you guys all weekend. I took pictures of these guys, so. And Jose, Kelly, Isabel, and Abigail from The Wizard of Oz. Glinda, say hello to the crowd, would you please? Glinda, say hello. Say hello, Glinda. Glinda, say hello to the crowd. Dorothy. Crowd, and of course, the Wicked Witch of the West and the Flying Monkey. Give it up for them. Fantastic. This is what family con going is all about. There you go. Very nice. Now, don't tell the little girls, but I was kind of excited because I thought they were from the show Wicked. <laughs> like, Whoa, Alphabet, that's really cool. Uh, <laughs> by the way, did you notice the corset through the hat? Did you notice that? Yeah. That's awesome, isn't it? Yes. Thank you. You know, if you would have called me, I could have played somebody. <laughs> put him on, put him on. Somebody pulled my tongue on. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Wait, Yeah, that's right. I mean, it's a real good year. 
number 29, Dirty Ernie Delacroix, as a crazy hillbilly. Thank you. You do very nice work, everybody. This is the first convention 